Hello, everybody. Uh, I'd like to pretend maybe I, maybe I should, you know, turn my hat a little sideways or something. Maybe act as if uh, we're not filming these right after another. But uh, it is still Saturday morning on a beautiful Saturday morning right before opening day. Uh, when you see this, it may be Sunday. And in which case, happy Easter to those celebrating. And hang in there while you're celebrating Passover because you're almost able to break that fast. Uh, we now will be taking a look at our National League picks. Uh, we did our American League picks in uh, video, videos previous. Um, and on this edition of the Boxing Breakdown, we're going to be taking a look at the National League West. Uh, five teams in the National League West, for those of you who do not know, are the Arizona Diamondbacks, the Colorado Rockies, the San Diego Padres, San Francisco Giants, and the Los Angeles Dodgers. And if you remember, I said there was no team in the American League that you could beat up on. Well, this division has a few you're going to be able to beat up on and get some wins on. Um, my bottom has got to be Colorado. That team, again, still no pitching. Uh, a second straight year, you really don't have any pitching. I don't know exactly what they're doing. I have not much even to say about them. Uh, they're going to be your last place team. The Padres are a team that I think potentially could do something. Um, but you lose your best player to injury, even if he is going to be back. And that's this, uh, this kid, Giorco. Does look like he's going to be okay as a fill-in. But when you don't, when you don't have Chase Headley for a while... Can't expect much out of the Padres. They're going to be my fourth team. Arizona Diamondbacks, I like the Diamondbacks. I just don't see enough with them. Uh, I think that, you know, you got a couple pieces. you got Goldschmidt, you got Kubel. But I do think you got a couple of good pitchers as well, and Ian Kennedy and uh, Wade Miley. But I think at the end of the day, when you get rid of your best player and Justin Upton, uh, you really send a bit of a message to, uh, you know, the franchise that you're not going to be winning you know, not, not going to be hanging around this division. I don't have them as a wild card either because this division is going to come down to two teams. It's going to be San Francisco Giants and it's going to be the Los Angeles Dodgers. And I think the determinant of this is going to be on Tim Lincecum. Tim Lincecum's a guy who last year did not do well at all, struggled the whole season. If he comes back and he's, you know, lights out ace-like, I think the Giants will win the division. But I don't expect that. Uh, I think they will finish in second place. They don't have the high-power offense that the Dodgers have. And because of that, I don't see them winning as many games. But I do have them getting in as a wild card defending champs. Uh, and my pick to win the division is going to be the Dodgers. Uh, I'm not crazy about things that they've done on their pitching staff. I like Kershaw, obviously. Uh, but when you look at this guy, Ryu, he has not looked great in spring training that they got from Korea. You also have uh, Chad Billingsley, whatever. Uh, who knows with Josh Beckett, you really can't depend on him. But I do like their, I mean, if you have a healthy call, Crawford, if you have a couple of the other pieces along with Matt Kemp and with uh, Ethier, I think that Dodgers are going to be stacked. you got Adrian Gonzalez on first. I think they'll have a bounce back year. A whole tiny team playing together for a full season. I think they're going to win that division. The Giants do get in as a wild card. What do you think, youngest? Well, <clears throat> I have to agree with you with the bottom two teams, Colorado and San Diego. They will be at the bottom. under. They will be over 70, but under 80. They will struggle mightily. A lot. A lot. Then it gets difficult for me. I have to pick, well, Boxy picked the Dodgers for first, and you picked the Giants for second. I have to disagree with you on that one. I have to say the Giants are going to be first. You cannot forget they are the World Series champions, the, the World Series champs. The Dodgers, there are a lot of ifs and buts with that team. So you have to see, are they going to do well? Are, are they going to come back from injuries? Who knows? They could, you know what? They could win 90 games, or they can end up winning 70 games. They're a, they're a very big if team. They are, some players are very old on that team. I don't have a lot of faith in Chad Billingsley at all. He's a guy, no faith in him at all. Uh, Josh Beckett, can he get the velocity back? Uh, it cannot all be on Clayton Kershaw. It can't be all on him. And can Matt Kemp come back and be what, what he once was, Andre Ethier? There's a lot of ifs and buts with that team. But the one thing I know is the San Francisco Giants, there's no ifs and buts. There may be one with Tim Lincecum. But other than that, the team's pretty set for the season. What do you think, Boxy? I think, uh, I think you can't go wrong with picking either team. I think it's going to be one of the better races in the entire league. Uh, I do think one will get there, one will be the wild card. Um, and uh, so we got for you on the uh, National League West. So we will now move along to, in my opinion, one of the more boring divisions, if not the most boring division, the National League Central, and I apologize to all the fans of those leagues, but we are going to review it. It's coming up right after this edition. Thank you so much for tuning into this edition of the Boxing Breakdown. You take it easy, and of course, you'll be well.